All right, continuing our course on uh, changeling history, we've now moved to the interregnum. Now, this is probably the darkest point of changeling history. Uh, the cataclysmic events of the, the previous ages uh, had slammed shut most of the doors, especially into the deep dreaming. Uh, some of the some of the pathways into the shallow dreaming still existed, um, but for the most part, uh, they were they were cut off. Basically, for the most part, they were cut off. Uh, Arcadia was gone. Not only that, but their leadership, the she, were gone. All except for just a very few of them that remained behind. Um, it's said that many changelings described this sensation as as if the autumn world itself had decided to suffocate their souls. Now that's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. Uh, the church continued its efforts uh, to rid the world of unwanted influences, uh, and vast numbers of changelings attempted to circumvent discovery by hiding in plain sight. Now, the church has always been a huge problem for changelings. And there's a lot of reasons presented for this. Uh, the one that I personally tend to like to, to believe is, is not necessarily that there is an issue with the church itself. But if you think about it, a church teaches that there is one correct path. And that everyone must follow that path. Well, very much like the mapping and, and, and the explaining away magic... That is contrary to everything the changelings are. Um, it is basically forcing people to stop dreaming of what could be and simply react to the one thing that is. Uh, which is why I've always believed that the changelings have so many problems with the church. Um, during this time, most of the changelings were furious with the she um, for abandoning them. Uh, and those few she that remained, the ones that didn't escape into Arcadia, ironically, they were the ones that got attacked for it. Um, they found themselves targeted of attacks. Um, <coughs> in time, though, eventually, the fact that they had stayed behind kind of started to change the commoner's view on them. Um, they had stayed willingly to fulfill their obligations, um, and eventually, over a number of decades or centuries, perhaps, uh, we don't have an exact time scale, the courts and the nobles and the commoners um, basically negotiated an indefinite truce to their ancient conflict. Known uh, to the Cathane as the Compact, uh, it meant that all hostilities ceased, making possible travel between dominions without fearing reprisals due to court affinity, tradition, um, and it basically said that it remains crucial to changeling society even to the modern day. This is their big, uh, like in the modern world, people always were around, you know, uh, the, the Treaty of Vienna or Geneva or, uh, you know, the Geneva Conventions. This, the compact to the changelings, was the big one. Um, in the 14th, the end of the 14th century, the Renaissance bloomed, exploded, and a renewed flow of glamour flew into the world. As all of a sudden, people started thinking about what could be possible again. Uh, people left behind the feudal paradigm that they were accustomed to, um, Commoners began to fill the void of power left by the, uh, the, the Arcadian she and started taking freeholds for themselves, filling those seats of power. Um, realizing what was going on and realizing the precarious situation they were in, the Autumn she did not object to this. They kind of just stepped away and let the commoners take it. Um... 
basically because they knew they would have been killed otherwise. Um, Changeling society reflected the alterations in the mortal world, and when the merchant classes in the, mor in the mortal world began to grow in power, many commoners abandoned many of the old titles and customs and began modernizing. Some Fay referred to the, or some changelings referred to this as the age of exploration. Um, it was a revived sense of curiosity. Um, some joined navies uh, in, in hopes of discovering things that might have been lost, uh, pathways in the dreaming that maybe maybe they didn't all disappear. No one knows about one of them. Um, they began trying to restore shattered trods and make it possible to visit the dreaming again. <coughs> um, and at this point, they talk about some of the big influences. You know, you had Leonardo da Vinci, you had Michelangelo, you had Shakespeare, you had Marlowe, and these people just pumped glamour into the world. Um, and, and really basically helped to keep the, the, the changelings alive. Um, now, the Age of Reason did prove a double-edged sword in that they were hiding in mortal guises, so as soldiers, politicians, etc., they, uh, they enjoyed the, the, the glamour of musicians and poets, um, but they also found that the new dreams of mankind were a lot less about fairy tales and fae tales, and uh, they became a lot more about technological achievements, um, about advancing things. And this is a time when really the knockers um, really got gained a lot of power. These are the fae that, that craft, that build. Um, and, and those changelings gained a lot of influence in this time because they were best suited to, to match the dreams that were happening at the time, and they could draw the most from them. Uh, villages became towns, towns became cities, uh, farmers gave way for the industrial age. Um... This continued until the dawn of the 20th century, really. But then it slowly started to tilt again, back into the favor of banality. Uh, the Great War, death, destruction on both sides. Um, again, people stopped dreaming. People started just being afraid. Um, it also brought up old grievances between the courts, Increased tensions, um, and then the Roaring Twenties hit, and again we had this respite, this surge of glamour again, uh, but it was short-lived. Uh, you know, works of art, literature, poetry, they all came out, um, and the changelings were able to harvest this, but at the same time you had kind of the blighted wasteland of the Dust Bowl in the American West, the Great Depression, and then the Second World War hit. Um, and things started going downhill. Banality started to take over. And then something happened that changed it all, but that's moving us into the resurgence, so we'll talk about that in the next video.